What time do you plan on coming home today? I may have to do some overtime at work. So maybe around 9 p.m.? What's the point of doing overtime at such a small and pathetic company? You're just wasting your time there. They don't even pay you for overtime, right? Well, great job working for them for free. Did you really have to send me a text just to insult me? There's no need for you to worry about what I do at work. Anyway, is there anything else that you were planning on telling me? I'm just saying what I think I was planning to ask you to stop by the bakery and get a cake if you were coming home early. Sarah told me that she's coming over today. She is coming over tonight? I had no idea. Yeah, she is. No need to worry about the cake if you're going to be late, though. You probably don't need dinner at home if you're staying at work till late. I think I'm going to take her and go out to eat today. I wonder which restaurant I should pick. Wait, what about Dad then? Does he have any other plans? I don't really care about him. You guys can sort out dinner for yourselves. I make dinner for you guys every single night. So it's okay for me to relax and eat out from time to time, don't you think? Well, today is going to be one of those days. I'm eating out with Sarah tonight. You better not complain. I wasn't going to complain at all. You guys go have fun. I'm getting really stressed out recently, doing all the housework for both of you. I really need some time away from you guys once in a while. Yeah, I told you to go have fun. I didn't complain about you going out to eat at all. And would you please stop talking about how we're always stressing you out? It's getting kind of annoying. How could you say that to me? Don't you know how hard I have to work at home? I get really depressed thinking that I'm just going to have to keep doing this till the day I die. If that's the case, then why don't you try something new? Maybe you can find a hobby or something to refresh your mind. It's okay. As long as I have Sarah, I'm going to be okay. She's going to make me feel so much better. I'm pretty sure she knows a lot of nice places to eat, too. Oh, I'm so looking forward to tonight. Good for you. Why don't you hurry up and go get ready? Yeah, I think I'll do that. She's definitely going to take me to an expensive restaurant. I just know it. She's so kind and actually cares about her parents. I'm so lucky that she's my daughter. I have no idea why you grew up so differently to her. With your miserable salary, you can't take me out to eat anywhere. Well, I'm very sorry about that. It's such a shame that I can't take you out to eat at fancy restaurants. All you can do is arrogantly talk back to me like this. You're just like your father. Are you done now? I've really got to get back to work. I'm actually pretty busy. You know, I don't have time to be talking to you all day. Yeah, whatever. Go back to your pathetic job already. I'm going to go into your room. You don't mind, do you? Wait, what? Why do you need to do that? Because Sarah's coming back home. I need to clean out a room for her. What are you saying? Are you trying to clear out my room so that she can move back in? Well, this is the only room that's available. Available? It's the room that I'm using. Where do you expect me to go if she takes my room? You're getting old already. You should probably leave the house and find a place for yourself. Are you serious? This is way too sudden. And it's not possible for me to move out right now. You should have told me in advance if you wanted me to move out of the house. You need to shut up and do what I tell you to do. Even though you work for a pathetic company, they should be giving you enough money to live by yourself, right? Even with a minimum wage job, it's possible to rent out a cheap apartment. Well, yeah. They do give me enough for me to make a living. As long as you don't choose a place in the middle of the city, then I'm sure there are many places that even you can afford. Why don't you start looking for somewhere to live? If you need some help finding a place, then I don't mind looking as well. 
Are you really in that much of a hurry to get me to move out? Yeah, she told me that it was pretty urgent. Her current place that she lives is too far from her workplace and the commute is too long. She told me that she doesn't have any time to relax at home and always ends up eating dinner very late at night. Well, if that's the case, then I'm kind of in the same position. I have to work until late at night every day. And I always eat dinner way past 10 p.m. Don't make it sound like you're going through the same struggles as her. She's working at a very large company. And she has many rivals that she has to beat to stay in her position. Don't make it sound like you guys work a similar job. Literally anyone can work the job that you do. Do you hate me or something? Why are you always on Sarah's side? You treat her completely differently to how you treat me. Do you really not understand why I treat you both so differently? It's because she's actually working a respectable job. You should stop trying to make it sound like you're the victim. If you want me to treat you better, then do something that would make me want to respect you. We're both your daughters and we both work full-time jobs. Would you please tell me why you think we're so different? Isn't it kind of obvious? I'm the one that wants to ask you how you grew up so differently to her. Are you trying to say something? If you are, just say it. Well, I don't get how she is so perfect and you are such a failure. She's so talented at anything she does. And on top of that, she is so beautiful and attractive. Everyone at school absolutely loved her. Compared to her, your grades were always pretty bad. And I don't really want to say this, but you're unattractive. You have no talents or hobbies. And I don't recall you having many friends either. You both grew up in the same house and ate the same meals. How in the world did you guys end up so different from each other? I didn't know you thought of us like that. I knew that you preferred her, but I didn't think it was this bad. I'm kind of shocked by what you just told me. Yeah, I'm shocked at how different you guys turned out to be too. You guys are meant to be siblings. Fine, I'm going to move out of this house. I don't really want to live with you after what you just told me. It's going to be so much better for my mental well-being if I find my own place to live. I'm glad that you finally decided to listen to what I asked you to do. When do you think you'll be able to move out? I'll leave as soon as I manage to find a new place to live. I'll try to find a place as soon as possible. Well, that's some amazing news. I'm sure that Sarah would be really happy to hear this. I'll go and tell her the news right away. It's the weekend, so you're not working, right? Where did you go? I just had some things I had to do in town. I see. Did you manage to find a place to move to, by the way? If you still haven't found a place, then make sure you do it this weekend, while you don't have any work. I still haven't managed to find a place to move yet. Would you just wait a bit longer? If that's the case, then why don't you at least get your belongings together and clean out your room? Then, you'd be able to move out immediately as soon as you find a place. Are you really that eager to kick me out of the house? Of course I am. Are you not worried about your sister at all? Why should I be worried about her? She's taking my room and forcing me to move out. If we don't let her move back into this house, she might collapse because of fatigue. I think she's very stressed with work right now, and I want to do everything that I can to let her relax. She'll be all right. Why are you worrying about her so much? How do you know that? You really are selfish, aren't you? How about you try to care for other people once in a while? You're just like your father. Both of you only think about yourselves. Would you hurry up and find a place to live? It's not that easy to find a place to live. I have a job right now, and I can't just spend the entire day looking for places to live. It's only been a week since you asked me to move out. Please, just give me a little more time and I'll be gone. If that's the case, then why don't you try searching for a place while you're at work? 
The work you do can't be that important, right? Use that laptop that you always have in front of you for something that's actually useful. Are you serious? I am not going to be looking for a place to live while I'm working. Don't make stupid suggestions like that. It's not stupid. All you do is sit at your desk and stare at your laptop screen all day. Just open up Google and search for apartments in the area. It's not a difficult thing to do. I can't just decide on a room by looking at pictures online. I need to actually go and take a look inside before I decide on a new place to live. You really are stubborn. Taking a look isn't going to change anything. You've always been like this, making everything difficult. Whenever I bought you clothes, you would always want to try it on first. You also made us go around to visit many schools before you decided on which one you were going to attend. It was all just a huge waste of time. It's none of your business. I'm going to be the one living there. I have every right to take a look before deciding on where to live. There's just things that I can't tell by looking at pictures online. I want a safe neighborhood too, since I'm going to be a woman living alone. All you're going to do is go back there to sleep why are you being so picky about this? Besides, you don't need to worry about the safety of the neighborhood. No one, no guy is going to want to approach you anyway. What did you just say? Why do you have to be so mean to me? I'm not being mean to you at all. You're the one that's being mean. I'm just so worried about Sarah. She's all that I can think about recently. I've had enough. I'm not going to come home anymore. You can do whatever you want with my belongings. I just can't stand living with you anymore. Well, that's completely fine. Are you planning to become homeless or something? Please go to another city if that's the case, because I don't want to have to bump into you at a local park. I have no intention of becoming homeless, so don't worry about that. That's good to hear. I really don't care about you leaving. But please, would you make sure that you don't cause any trouble? I don't want the police to bring you to our door. Hey, Sarah is saying that she wants to sleep over and stay at your place. Where are you living now, by the way? Why should I have to tell you where I'm living? You better not be living in a tent at some park. Is there even enough space for her to sleep at your place? Yeah. There's plenty of space for her, and I'm living in a proper apartment. I'm just very worried that she's going to become sick if she sleeps in your dirty room. Make sure you give her a clean bed to sleep in, okay? Why are you assuming that my place is dirty? You don't need to worry about any of this. She actually told me that my place is a lot nicer than home. What? Did she really say that? Where the hell are you living right now? Why should I tell you? I've also told her to not tell you where I live. Why are you being so secretive? What are you up to? Are you making her pay a portion of your rent? I think that you're misunderstanding something. So let me say this. Misunderstanding what? How dare you talk to me like this? It is unacceptable to talk to your mother like that. What are you talking about? Stop being so overdramatic. I just wanted to let you know that I'm not poor and I don't have any financial troubles. I'm living a perfectly healthy life in a nice place. Stop trying to act so tough all of a sudden. I know what kind of job you're doing. You're just doing some desk work for a tiny company. I bet you only get paid just over minimum wage. That was years ago. Do you not pay attention to me at all? I thought that I told you that I left that place and started up my own company. Wait, really? I don't remember you mentioning anything like that. That's because you have no interest in me at all. You never listen to the things that I tell you. I knew that you didn't have much interest in me, but I'm shocked to hear that you don't even know where I work. Well, why did you end up leaving that old company you worked for? Did you get fired or something? I've had enough of talking to you. You're going to forget everything I say to you anyway. It's just a waste of my time telling you anything. Stop making up excuses and just answer my question. And would you please tell Sarah to come home right away? I don't want her staying over at your place, actually. 
Tell her that nothing good will happen if she decides to stay there. What the hell is happening? Why is Sarah telling me that she wants to move out now? Oh, haven't you heard anything from Dad? Why would he know? He has nothing to do with this. I'm talking about Sarah. She's the one telling me that she's moving out. Actually, he does have something to do with it too. Both of them are saying that they want to move out from that house. What are you talking about? You're making things up now. It's all true. I think that they're selling that house too. You guys are all living in right now. You should probably get your belongings together and get ready to move out. Whoa, hold on a minute. I have no idea what you're talking about. This house is not getting sold. Do you really not know what's happening? I thought he already talked to you about getting the divorce. What he says doesn't matter right now. He has nothing to do with this house getting sold. Also, him wanting to get divorced is what he always says when he's in a bad mood. He'll shut up about it soon enough. After a few days, he'll be back to normal. Ugh, he's such a drama queen. I really think that it's you who's the drama queen. Anyway, he was saying that he couldn't stand living with you anymore. I think he really wants the divorce this time. There's just no way that's ever happening. He would be in so much trouble without me by his side anyway. Actually, I don't think that's the case. He's really good at cooking and does most of the housework himself anyway. I honestly think that he's one of the most independent people that I know of. He's able to do almost anything that he needs done around the house. What are you talking about? Are you seriously saying all of this? Yeah. I'm serious about it all. Also, I've been planning to ask the two of them to help out with my business. I think he's really serious about getting a divorce this time. Why would they help you out with your business? What do you even do? I started up my own clothing company. I design all sorts of clothes and sell them online at my store. As you told me a while ago, Sarah really is attractive and has a lot of connections. That's why I'm planning on asking her to work for me as a model and sales representative. Do you have your own clothing company? Just listen for a change, mom. Dad is also telling me that he can help me out with the advertising for my business. He's been in the advertising field for a long time now, and I'm sure that he would be a great asset for my company. To be completely honest, I'm not sure if my company will succeed yet. So I think that he's taking a big risk getting divorced with you and starting to work for me. I think he's pretty serious about the divorce if he's willing to take such a big risk. If that's the case, then I'd be happy to help you all out. I can make coffee and cakes for all of you whenever you need. You can just pay me $1,500 a month because I don't want to do anything that's difficult. Are you joking? There's nothing you can do to help my company out. I'd much rather donate the $1,500 than give it to you. Also, he's planning to work for me after he gets divorced with you. I'm sure he wouldn't want his ex-wife working here as well. That would be awkward for all of us. Then what am I supposed to do? All of you are going to be working at the same place, except for me. Where am I going to live? This is crazy. You really don't have to do anything. I'm sure that it's good for you that me and dad are leaving, right? You always insult us. So I'm sure that you must be happy that we're going to be gone. What about Sarah then? What is she going to do? She's going to live with me, right? Actually, I don't think that that's what she wants. She actually hated how you treated her so differently to me. According to her, you were too needy and clingy all the time. She doesn't even enjoy spending time with you. I can't believe that. Did she really say that about me? Yeah, she did. There's no reason for me to lie about this. She's been really supportive of my company and says that she really wants to work for me. I can't believe this. How am I meant to live from now on? You're all leaving me, right? I don't even have that much money saved up. Dad said that the money we get from selling that house is going to be given to you. I think that it's way too kind of him, but he's insisting on it. I guess that's the last gift he's planning on ever giving you. Well, I'm 
thankful for that. But where am I going to live after this house is sold? Have you guys thought of that already? You're going to be by yourself. So just rent an apartment room somewhere. With the money from the house, you should be able to find a nice place. I've never rented a place before, and I don't want to do that. I don't even know how to begin looking for a place to rent. I don't want to do any of the paperwork either. Fine. I'll make sure to find a place and get the contract done for you. Would you at least get your own belongings together and be ready to move out? And make sure you fill in and sign the divorce papers for dad. That should be the main priority for you right now. I don't want to get divorced. It's not going to happen if I don't sign my half of the papers. Um, excuse me? Do you really think that you're in a good position to argue about this? What do you mean by that? Why don't you think about everything you've done to him in the past? I've never done anything wrong, so there's nothing for me to think about. If you really think that, then you must be pretty stupid. I can't be dealing with you any longer because I'm busy. Just make sure you talk things out with Dad, okay? Hey, would you help me out? I can't get in touch with your dad. I wonder why he's not replying to me anymore. It's probably because you're selfish and you don't listen to anything he asks of you. He told me that he decided to get a lawyer and won't be talking to you directly anymore. Oh, I see. So that's why. Actually, there's a bigger problem. I'm running out of money for my living expenses, and I don't know what to do. What do you think I should do? Are you serious? How are you broke? Have you even finished packing so that you can move out of the house? Not really. I don't want to have to move out. You'll get the money once the house is sold. Hurry up and move out. I've told you this so many times. I guess that's true. But are you not worried about me at all? I don't think that you've ever cared or been worried about me. So I don't see why I should worry about you. I'm just treating you like you treated me when I was growing up. I only treated you badly because I thought Sarah was on my side. Now that I know she doesn't really like me, I'll care for you more. I promise I'll also do my best to support the entire family. So, would you guys all consider coming back here? I'm sorry, but that's definitely not possible. All three of us feel the same way. So we're not coming back. What is wrong with you all? Ugh, this is the same as bullying. Do you guys not appreciate what I've done for the family over the years? I can't believe how I'm being treated by you guys right now. Stop trying to act like the victim. Do you really think that we don't know what you've been doing? What are you talking about? I'm not hiding anything from you guys. Yeah, whatever. I'm really disappointed in you. We did our best to end things with you as calmly as possible. Shut up. You are all abandoning me. You're all terrible people. Okay, that's it. You were cheating on dad with another man, weren't you? What? What did you say? Cheating? I would never do such a thing. He knew about it this entire time, but didn't want to cause a lot of drama. So he kept quiet about it. That's why he tried to get a divorce from you for a reason. He was trying to be kind to you until the end, but you rejected his offer for a divorce. If you're going to keep acting like this, then I'm going to tell him that he should fight you for the house and the settlement. What? He said he'd let me have the house. I don't have any money to hire a lawyer. You know that I don't have any savings left. If he fights me in court for the house, I'll end up with less than half of what he offered me to begin with. When dad cut onto the affair, he hired a private detective. We also know that you used some of his money on your dates with the other man. Even after you betrayed him, he wanted to end things on good terms with you. That's the kind of man he is. I'm telling him he should use everything he has to leave you with as little as possible in the settlement. He's too generous for his own good. I see. So you guys knew about it. Well, if that's the case, then I'm sorry. I admit that I did something wrong, and I'll apologize to him for what I did. 
I promise that I'll never cheat on him again. So please, would all of you just come back? We are not coming back. You need to take responsibility for what you've done and stop blaming it on other people. Do something right for once and just agree to get divorced. Don't talk to me like that. I'm not going to listen to you ordering me around. I was just really stressed out and needed to sleep with someone else to release the stress. Look, I'll apologize to you too and make sure to treat you better from now on. Stop with the excuses. You know, I've never felt that you loved me. When I was younger, I really wanted you to treat me like how you treated Sarah. But now it's too late. I don't want you in my life anymore. Look, I'm really sorry for what I've done. I'll try to change from today so that I'm a better mother and a better wife. I want to make things right. If you really want to make things right, then hurry up and get divorced with Dad and move out of the house. That's the only way you can make things right with us. It's too late for you to be accepted back into our family. That's all I have to say to you. Goodbye. Did you just say goodbye? Wait, don't abandon me like this. I decided to cut all ties with my mother and ended up blocking her number as well. Even Sarah, who had been loved by her, admitted that she didn't like how she was treated so differently when growing up. Currently, Sarah and Dad are working together at my company, and things are going very well between the three of us. However, Dad's divorce with her didn't go so smoothly, as she kept on refusing to sign the divorce papers. We ended up having to get a lawyer to try to help us sort things out. He ended up having to show the evidence from the private detective to finally get the divorce. And he ended up getting a very favorable divorce settlement. After losing her home and all her money, mom ended up starting to work as a secretary at a very small company in town. Currently, she lives in a tiny old apartment outside of town and has to commute over an hour to work every day by bus. As things are, it looks like she won't be able to live a nice and comfortable life ever again. 